Hey folks, how's it going? As you can see, I have a booster box of EV Heroes in my hands. And yep, you guessed it, this is what we'll be opening today in this week's video. I just thought that because we've been opening a load of more recent sets recently, like Dark Phantasma, Time Gazer, Space Juggler, and soon to come the Pokemon Go TCG crossover, I thought let's go back, take it back to a set that was probably the best set of last year, and probably still is one of the best sets in modern time. And that's just because of the alt art cards that come in this set. More specifically, the Umbreon VMAX alt art. This Umbreon card is probably the most expensive modern, like modern day Pokemon cards. Now you're probably making a comment right now already, something along the lines of, Oh, but it's only, only it's only a couple of hundred quids. Now, we what 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 are you on about? And well, that's for Evolving Skies. For EV Heroes, it's a whole different story. And the reason why it's a different story is because Evolving Skies was just so distributed. It was just it was just print after print after print, and so cards like the Umbreon V Max soon lost its value. I mean, it's still got quite a big value of, about, I think last time I checked, it was about £300. But with EV Heroes, it it only got a few reprints. And out of all of these old art cards, people want this Umbreon VMAX one uh, the most. And so in Japan, because there's so few of them, they are currently going for about, I think the last time I checked, it was 100,000 yen which is about a thousand pounds. Hey folks, just wanted to pause the video just for just for a quick second. Um, present now we're here editing this video. Just wanted to get a screen grab on the price right now for the Umbreon VMAX or art card. Uh, for just the standard edition right now, it is, it's gone up to 128,000. Uh, and I was slightly wrong on my conversion. Um, uh, in in pound sterling anyway, uh, this is seven hundred and seventy five uh, pounds, uh, but in things like dollars, you you're looking at nine hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, so that is closer to the uh, one thousand mark. It's still very expensive, and I, I I will stick to my words as I said in the video. The the most expensive cards in in or modern card anyway. Uh, but I also found a, a listing, uh, a PSA 10 listing going on for this site. And this one's 218, which is 1,300 uh, pounds. So that's way above the 1,000 pound uh, mark that I was talking about. So it just, it just goes to show that this, the pricing for this card is still on the rise. I mean, I checked the pricing of this maybe just a, a few weeks ago and it's already gone up by 28,000. So... It it just goes to show that people are people are wanting this card and they will pay anything to get this card. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to let you guys know what the current price is right now as of editing this video. Uh, enjoy the rest of the, the video. Uh, bye for now. Which is just absolutely crazy. Like a thousand pounds for a you you don't see a modern day card nowadays that's worth a thousand pounds. Or over a thousand pounds. And that's that's all we have on the end there. But with this Umbreon VMAX alt art card, people are paying up to a one hundred thousand yen for it. And that's just that's just crazy in my opinion. That's just crazy. Um so that's kind of the reason why I'm opening one of these booster boxes. Uh, we have a nice uh a, a nice hollow on the end of uh some uh uh, I've forgotten the name because if you didn't get this Umbreon card early like myself you are either going to have to pay £1,000 to add it to your collection if you're trying to complete the master set or you are going to have to pay I think it's about 100, £150 to £160 now for a booster box of one of these EV Hero booster boxes. And speaking of the Umbreon, we have a Umbreon V, just the normal Umbreon V, but maybe this is a good sign. Maybe this is a sign that the Umbreon Alt Art Cards is in this booster box. 
we'll find out. But so you know, I didn't pay 160 quid for this booster box. This booster box has been in my, it's been in my um, my cupboard uh, for uh, for a while now. So and I can't remember how long. I think maybe I picked up when it was still around. 70 to 80 quid it's still quite a lot uh all, probably over double the retail price it should go for uh nothing on the end there but still not nearly as bad as what it is now um so yeah they're they're in short demand they're on short supply and high demand should, i should say and you know it's just people are going crazy to try and get these booster boxes and trying to get this card. Let's see, what do we have on the end here? We have uh, whatever you are. And I've had these, I've had two EV Hero booster boxes sitting in my cupboard for a good half a year, and they're probably almost coming up to a year now. And I thought it would be crazy if one of these booster boxes contained the Umbreon VMAX Old Art cards. On the end here, we have uh, a hollow of uh, Zororak. Oh, Zoroark? 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 Zoroark. And so I thought, let's open it this week. Have a, uh, a you know, a blast from the past. Uh, this came, this set came out, I think, June of last year. And even when it uh, came out, people were going crazy for it. Uh, Pre-orders, you could not pre-order it anywhere. Uh, on the end, we have just a normal love ball, I think. But yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the reason why I thought about, you know... Opening, opening this booster box for you this week. Give you a bit of information on what's going on in the Japanese market uh, and how crazy the it, the prices are for this Umbreon v, uh, VMAX old art card. And it, it just keeps getting more and more. It, it, the price for it just keeps uh, keeps going up and up. We have a hollow Raichu on the end here. So if you're really looking to get... Uh, uh, you need this Umbreon old art card for your master collection. Uh, I would say to get it now, um, if you if you really really want it. Uh, otherwise, you it, I would just kind of wait maybe a few years see if the price goes down. But I don't I don't think it will. It seems to be on the rise still. Uh, on the end, we have just a Sylveon V Max, but still I really do love this V Max card. I love the art of it. Nice to see you, Sylveon. I'm sorry that we haven't really been appreciating the art either. I've just kind of been talking about uh, the Umbreon card and what it's like right now uh, to try and purchase it in Japan. So let's let's have a let's have a look at the art. So we have a Persian here. Uh, we have a uh, Dewey. That's a Dewey pod. Dewey Dewey ride. Dewey something like that. A big uh, uh, spider thing. And um, we have a Pancham's evolution, whatever you're called. Uh, we have Muriel, this is a very nice card. We have something on the end there, I can just see a glimpse of it. Uh, but a very nice card, I do love this card. Um, very nice artwork, kind of... Uh, uh, you can tell that it's kind of like um, drawn, essentially. Uh, I mean, I know all of these are drawn, but this is kind of looks like a pencil sort of drawing. But it's very nice. And on the end we have just a Glaceon V. So still no secret rare yet. Let's go back in. Um, let's. We have a uh, imp. We have a uh, weird bug thing. We have a meowth. This is one of the artworks I really like. Um, there's lots of different cards in the set that have this sort of background, and it keeps, you know, it keeps getting added to it. So we can see um, Smeargle's paint trail along there. You have meowth's footprints, and then. I think there's a couple of other uh, Pokemon that are contained in this one kind of like area. So we'll probably see a few more. We have a Sand Castle, and then we have a Love Ribbon. And if you aren't, sh you weren't totally clued up on what Evo Heroes are, this thing on the back is just kind of like cards to kind of tell you how to play the game, I think. I'm not too sure entirely why they were put into this set, but. Um, they're there, um, so they don't really hold any value. Um, we have another sand castle. We have a electric uh, uh, fish thing. We have a flower. We have Eevee looking up at Rayquaza there. Very nice. On top of some roofs, actually. I always thought this was a cliff, but actually it's uh, uh, some roofs. And uh, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, and then on the end, we have a, another ball. I think a love ball. I'm probably definitely wrong. All right, let's see. Let's see, we have probably the, the types. This is probably talking about the types, the different types. Let's see. All right, we have a big bug. We have um, a, an imp scaring a substitute doll, practicing its it being scary. Lovely artwork. And we have Pancham, again, lovely artwork. Um, we have, there we go, uh, Morel. Um, Morel? Morel. Uh, can't remember how you pronounce it, but um, again, you can see it has Smeagol's Trail. You have, um, uh, you know, the, the, the footprints and, and, and all sorts. Um, obviously, they keep coming through at different times, but they keep le leaving um, the, the, you know, the trace, the footprints behind. Um, but yes, moving on to the one on the back, we have a hollow flower. You would think by now with the amount of time I play Pokemon, I would know the Pokemon's names, but I really don't. Um, I'm really bad with names, um, even with TV shows. Uh, but anyway, um, we have a elec uh, electric, uh, electric eel. Um, we have a Zorora. We have Meowth again in that same forest. We have, um, a, in, in DD. Indeedy, I think it's called, yeah, Indeedy. And then on the end, we have uh, this uh, this electric electric trainer from Sword and Shield. I think he's electric trainer. All right, next pack. Let's see what we have on the end. Oh, well, we'll put one to the front first. We have, um, oh, what are you called? I can't even remember. I can't even remember what you're called. And you're one of the OGs as well. Okay, all right. Um, Mudkip, I can't remember the name of that. I'm sorry. Uh, a big panda. Smeargoid, we can see, is actually using its uh, tail to uh, make the the uh, the line here. And then on the end, we have a water bottle. Next pack. Let's see. One to the front. We'll carefully line those up properly. We have the gym leader. We have. Asmaril. Asmaril, yeah, I think that's what that one's called. We have an electric eel again. We have Dupida. That's the name, Dupida. Dupida. Dupida of this one. I don't know the evolutions one, but this one's Dupida. And then on the end, we have uh, Elder Gloss Hollow. And that's my doorbell. What great timing. Wow, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had my doorbell ring in the middle of a, a recording. That is that's something new. That's something new. And you were here to witness it. Um, but anyway, let's continue on. We have a water bottle. We have a manate manatine. Uh, manatine. We have a flower. We have a Voltorb. Very cool artwork. I do like this sort of sort of stuff. And I think they've done uh, more recent stuff as well, haven't they? With like the Farfetch and the Magma, and you know, from more recent sets from like Starbirth. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then on the end, we have we have we have uh, we have. Uh, Melotic? Uh, maybe. Melotic, maybe. Another OG. Possibly Melotic. I don't know. Next pack. Come on, the secret rare is getting closer. It's getting closer. It's holding out to us. We have a badge thing. We have Asmaril again. We have Jupiter's Evolution. We have a very cute Pikachu. And then on the end we have, oh, I thought that was it then, but no, it's just a Flareon V. But getting closer, getting closer. Let's see what's in this one. Pull that card off the f back, one to the front. We have a Mal. We have a, a shopping Mal. We have a uh, Moril. We have, um, Imp, impeded, impedimp, impedoop, imp, something like that, an imp. We have a, another flower, and then on the end we have marsh stomp. Very nice, playing in the water. Ooh, next pack, next pack. What will we get? What will we get? We've still got one more VMAX card to get, I think, as well. Um, I'm just going to say you're melodic. I think you're melodic. I'm just going to go with it. So melodic, we have... Slugma's evolution. I can't remember your name. We have Feebas uh, dodging all of the uh, fishing lines right there, trying to get its food. We have Eevee on the roof, so looking up at Rayquaza, and then on the end. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
We do have, oh, a camera. We do have an alt art card. Okay, it's Flareon V. It's not the Umbreon, but it is a very nice alt art card. I'm glad we got at least no art card and not just a general full art card. I'm saying art, lots of cards here, but very nice indeed. Such, all of the art, uh, I'm going to say it again, all of the alt art cards are really nice from this set. They are so beautifully drawn, so beautifully done. Uh, Flareon is setting up the uh, blown fire onto the fireplace for its, uh, for its trainer. Very nice, so cute. Seeing them in this sort of, this sort of kind of uh, personal general environment. I think one of the Sylveon cards, they're in like a, a cake shop or something like that. But very nice. And the more you look at it, the more you notice. It's really, really, really cool. We can see there's like a Pokeball rug down there. And they've got a cup of tea and knitting. Oh, it's just adorable. So, so cute. But unfortunately, it isn't the Umbreon VMAX O art, but it's still an O art card nonetheless, and one that I don't have. So, very, very cute. Very nice indeed. So that was our secret rare of this booster box. We still have one more VMAX card to get, so stick around if you are curious to know what that is. Uh, and there's also the possibility of getting another secret rare. You never know. Uh, there's always a possibility of getting more than one. It is guaranteed to get at least one per booster box, but you can get more. Uh, so on the end we have is okay, speaking of the VMAX and the Umbreon VMAX actually, we have the Umbreon VMAX, just normal one, not alt art cards or anything like that. Um, unfortunately. Would have been nice to see the alt art version of you, mate, but maybe in the other box. Maybe in the other box I have. We'll find out. We'll find out. But nice to see you. All right. Next pack. Open it up. What do we have? We have a Frosty Badge. We have a Voltorb. We have a Jupida. We have a Muriel. And then on the end, we have a Flower. Next pack. What do we have? What do we have? Take it out. One to the front. We have a cash cash can, something like that. Cash 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 can. Uh, we have a Feebas. We have a Rotom. We have a Smeargle, and then we have another badge. Next pack. What do we have? What do we have? One to the front. We have a shopping Mal. We have Jupiter's evolution. We have Smeargle's uh, smug. No, it's not Smeargle. Uh. Smug, Sugma, there we go, Sugma, Sugma's evolution, we have a Pikachu, and then we have a Hollow Entei, I forgot Entei was in this set, for some weird reason, none of the others are in this set, I don't think, I think it's just Entei, uh, by others I mean Suicune and Raikou, but weird, but still, nice to see you, very cool artwork, what do we have, what do we have, let's see, we have a colorless energy. We have Pancham's evolution. We have Swaddle. We have, oh, oh just going back, this is also another uh, artwork that includes more Pokemon. In the background, you can see uh, uh, Raichu in the back, just behind this rock. Uh, and then if we, if we get another Raichu card, but if you look, if you remember the Raichu card we've got earlier, it's in the same environment. It has a rock in the background. Very cool, very nice continuing it. Continuity, yeah, con continuity, continuity of the artworks uh, in the set. I wish they did it more often, but uh, I guess it just makes this, uh, this set even more special. And we have Sogma, and then we have Marsh Stomp. Next set, what? Next set, next pack, next pack. What do we get? What do we get? One to the front. We have a Persian, we have an Indeedy. We have a weird uh, caterpillar thing. We have a Sugma again, and on the end we have another Hollow Zorora, Zororark, Zororark. Four packs left to go. Will we get another secret rare? It's possible. It's possible that we do. I really hope we do. It'll be so cool if we do. Um, we have a Heart Medal. We have a Tim Temple, I think. Timpole. 
we have a Feebas, we have a flower, an onion, we have another flower. Next pack. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One down there, one to the front. We have a flower girl. Um, I can't remember. I think... Uh, 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 Aurora girl, I think. Aurora, someone, something like that. We have a sandcastle, we have manatine, uh, manatine, we have pancham, and then on the end we have, I keep hitting the camera today, we have a hollow marsh stump, not marsh stump, marsh, marsh shadow, marsh shadow, I think. Uh, punching out all of the flames on those candles. Very cool artwork. Second to last pack. Let's see. I'm probably not going to get anything more, too more interesting anymore. We have Colorless Energy, we have the Electric Eel, we have Meowth, we have Zorora, and then on the end we have a Imp. And then let's just go straight into this last pack, shall we? No cuts, just going straight into it. One to the front. We have an Electrode, we haven't seen you yet uh, in this. Oh, and a Voltorb straight after. Okay, we can evolve them now. Uh, my will. Memorial, uh, Sugma, or oh, Slugma, no, I know, and, and it doesn't matter. Anyway, we do have at least something to end on. We have a Leafeon V. Very nice to see. Uh, unfortunately, not a secret rare, but still pretty nice anyway. Uh, but yeah, that would be, that, that's going to be everything. Uh, there's no more packs to open. So thank you for joining me in this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see any more of my content, I do booster box un unboxings uh, every Friday and I upload information videos and news videos whenever those are available. Uh, any more news or anything like that. Uh, I don't really have a set schedule, but you can subscribe to see them in your subscription feed whenever they get uploaded so you don't miss any up-to-date news. Uh, this is the, the Profit that we made today, the profit. Um, I'm not sure how much that Flareon V card costs. Um, hopefully it helps us get, you know, make a little bit of profit at least, but it doesn't matter if not. But yeah, that will be everything for today. Uh, leave a like, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to see more. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what your favorite card is from this set or favorite old art cards from this set. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.